Hey, how's it going? It's Jasper from No More Codes here, and today I'm going to teach you how you can enable your users to edit their own records on your software application. Okay, let's take a look at what I meant exactly. Here we have a simple web application where users can list their project ideas to find teammates so they can do the projects together. The way users can list their projects is from this form on the submit page, where they will input their name, email, profile pic, and project details. A very important note here is that for us to limit the edit permission to a specific user only, we need the users to provide the email address when they're submitting any data into your database. And the email must be the same one that they use to log into your application. And once the user listed the project, other users can check out the list of the projects from the home page and then check on the detailed uh, project details. Uh, they then can simply contact this person through email and then start talking from there. And at some point, users who listed the project might want to change the status of the project from open to closed, or they want to change the criteria of the project brief. Basically, we want them to be able to edit their listing. But they're listing only because it would be bad if any user can just come in and edit anyone's listing. So how can we achieve such functionality? First, we need to enable the editing permission for the users. And we can do these by going into the settings on the left side panel and then go into user groups and permissions. Once we're in here, we then go into edit permission and add a permission here. We're going to name it edit own. And for the user group, we select lock in users. We then want to add a base by clicking on the plus icon. We're just going to select the Airtable base and also the table that we want the users to edit. In my case, the table is simply called listing. And here, what the current settings say is that all logged in users can change any record and any field that are currently in this Airtable database that we just selected, which in my case, uh, it's the listing table in team finder base. So users can essentially edit anything here if they want. And if that suits your need, you are done here. Um, but we want to make sure that users are only allowed to edit their own listings. Um, for example, Alice can only edit this listing. She's not allowed to edit other people's record here. To do these, we need to toggle off the all records and add a condition where the email is locked in user's email. This way, software would check if current user's email address matches the email field of this record and will only enable editing when they match. This will prevent users to edit other people's record. Now, if I'm logged in as Jasper, I'm able to edit everything in this record, but not other records in the database. Now we can create this permission and we want to apply this permission to the block that we want the users to edit. In my case, it is this block in the details page. And we can do so by clicking on the block and click on the pen icon here we then toggle on the allow user to edit. Now, if we preview the application and you can see that I'm currently logged in as Jasper. And if I click on Alice listing, I can't edit it. But if I go back and click on my own record, you will see this pen icon enable for me and I can then edit my own listing through here. And uh, this is how you can enable your users to edit their own record in your Airtable database uh, on your software application. I uh, hope this video helped uh, and I'm planning to release more software tutorials um, and also other no-code content here. So if this video helped and you want more, please like, share, subscribe. Um, I also do offer free consultation. So if you need any help with your no code project or software project specifically, um, feel free to go to my website and contact me through here. Uh, I will see you later.